The next Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show will take place in Greenville this Saturday. Here to get us ready for this big show for a couple of big causes is Michael Stevens. How you doing? I'm well, Chris. Good it's morning. It's always a pleasure to see you because you wear the most interesting tennis shoes in the world. You really do. Well, it makes up for my <laughs> lack of personality. <laughs> Hold those up there because we got the camera right there. Look at those. Those are a thing to behold. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this show, though. All right. You might even sell those if somebody makes uh, you a good offer on them. Yes, yes, yes. slightly used, gently <laughs> worn. <laughs> Toy and hobby show, though. I, I was joking with you earlier. You, it feels like you've done so many of these, but they're always for a great cause. We, we try really hard to find charities yes. that, that are deserving. You have a lot of people that are out to get you, but right. we, we work real hard to find charities that are in need. and. Mm -hmm. We target a couple, well, actually three groups in general. We try to work with veterans, right. with children, and with animals. Right. Uh, and that's our three loves. And uh, talk to us about, before we get into the show, who's the show going to benefit this time? you got two, two separate charities. The Greenville Park and Rec will receive half the money, and right. the other one is uh, actually our personal 501c3 called Four Causes. Right. And we work with, our goal is to work with the working poor to help them. So... Two great causes that you're working for. Let's talk more about the show, though. Trice, as you know, toy and hobby. So if you're a collector, this is the show to come to. It, it should be. I don't be. care what kind of collector you are. <laughs> I really don't because this you've got something for every collector out there. We try really hard. Our vendors bring a good assortment of different items. We, we started out mostly as a comic book show about 19 years ago. Right. But now it's branched out into everything. And we're uh, looking at some of that, those everything. Yeah, right we got ball cards and action figures and Hot Wheels, vintage 70s Hot Wheels in the pack oh, on the card yes. still. And it's just amazing. There'll be records. Uh, VHS tapes are all of a sudden popular again. People are looking for... I didn't for, even know anybody still had a VHS machine. <laughs> I don't know that they're doing anything with them other than just holding up the package and looking at right. them. But uh, we'll, we'll have people bring in horror movies and things like Just different... If you're looking for it, check out our Facebook page. It's just called Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show. Most of the vendors will have pictures up of what they're bringing. Right. And I know that, you know, whether you're a Marvel collector or a DC collector, or if you're a Barbie collector, whatever, there's there's going to be something there. We saw some Barbie stuff right there. I know the movie was huge last summer, but this summer that, that, that trend continues. The trend continues. Uh, people are buying them. Uh, I don't know that they'll ever be as expensive as they used to be for right. the people that's holding on to them for right. the college fund. But they are very popular. Uh, smaller children are now playing with them, which is great. I love to see Kids actually play with toys. It's amazing. Right. And it amazes me, too, a lot of the things that I'm sure you can go back to your childhood. I could go back to my childhoods, and I just wish I'd have held on to a few things that, that I didn't play with so hard, you know, and take down to the creek and, and do, you know, throw them in the water and stuff. If I'd have held on to some of those things, they'd be worth a lot of money, right? They would be, but that's why they're worth something now, because <laughs> nobody did. Right. And, um, and now as we get older, we, we have that nostalgic feeling, and we want to go back and buy those toys. And if you come to the show, you've got a good opportunity to do that. You could find some you could find some hidden treasures. You really can. I've been to these shows before and they're so much fun, first of all, folks. I encourage you to go by. It's for a great cause, but it's a lot of fun too. It, it really is. The fun is also, you know, very important. Right. Dealers have to make money, but it's got to be yeah. fun for them. Right. And I, you go up and talk to these dealers and they're so knowledgeable about what the the things that they have that they're selling, whether it be Funko Pops or it be comic books or it be any you know, figurines, whatever it is, they're knowledgeable. They are. It, it's, it, it amazes me how much they know about the right. minute instruments yes. that they bring. And they bring, uh, bring so many things. I mean, you talk about back in the day, but there's so many new things as well that have come out over the past few years that are collector's items already. It, it is amazing. Uh, action figures, which were kind of a dying breed, are right. now back popular. People have always collected the older ones, but now there's a, there's a desire for the newer figures right. and people are buying those up and you know we got the we got new marvel movies coming out later in july the fallout tv shows going on there's so many collectibles out there that folks want to get their hands on they are and i hope they'll come out this saturday nine to three at greenville All at right. the park and rec building michael we appreciate you buddy everything y'all are doing appreciate it, chris thanks All for right. having me let's give you that information the toy and hobby show is coming up this saturday right down there in greenville at the parks and rec building at 456 east bernard avenue there in greenville it is going on from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Admission is only $5. And remember this, children and 12 and under get in free.